Alrighty. Something, something super different this week. I'm by myself on a live stream. Very, very strange. If you're jumping on, I'm going to say, you know the drill, say hi and everything like that. I'm, I'm not used to having the screen by myself as of late. I'm just going to have a drink while everyone hops on. Everyone who hops on, say hi. These are highly interactive. Where are you watching from? Hello, Rosie. Everyone who jumps on, let's make this really, really interactive so I can get straight into it. How are you, Maggie? Awesome that you're on. Oh, look at this. Rock stars jumping straight on. As you jump on, like I say, I'm actually getting used to you. I've got the second seat here, um, having my beautiful girlfriend, Tanya, jump on with me, doing some great, great live feeds lately. Rosie, how are you? But I'm by myself today. Kieran, how are you? Love your video. I've finally caught up on stuff in the group. Oh, got the incense burning here. It's just blowing in my face. Hot in Kilmore. I doubt it's hot in Kilmore. <laughs> Julie, awesome that you're on. Straight into it. And keep saying hi. How are you, Sonia? I, I felt I felt like I just wanted to share this stuff today. I really did. It's um coming from a lot of my work that I've done last year, but more importantly, what I'm diving back into. Don't know about that. Rosie being the best state. I think you'll have some arguments on here. Aunt, how are you, brother? Hope you love that chat with Desi. Cool stuff going on in that world. Cool. Harmony, how are you? I'm going to do my best to say hi to everyone before I get into it. Because I really do appreciate you guys getting on. Yeah, ripper call yesterday, aunt. It was a ripper call, man. More of that. We'll get more of that going. We might have to do some, like, joint live streams or something, bro. We've got some cool stuff to share. Best way to go. Share, teach, share, learn. You know how it goes. Anyway, I just wanted to come on from stuff I've been going through. But more importantly, this is something, and you guys that are in our Harmonious Balance um, eight-week course at the moment, it's something I'm going to roll out tonight. So I'm actually giving you guys a gift from some private training that we do for like clients that come in to pay for, because I think this is really, really powerful. Um, really powerful. Don't worry, you guys, from tonight, you're getting a lot more. Uh, but this is... This is the core of where people, I believe people go wrong, where I went so wrong for so long. Like, people keep themselves in a place where they're not happy. They do. We, we make decisions that keep us, ourselves safe from what's new or what's different. And we don't understand what to do. We don't want to reach out for help. But, but I'm here to tell you, you don't have to. It would help, but if you did, and you went to people who had the results or whatever that you were looking for, but it's the questions you ask yourself the story you start telling yourself that, that make that change, that create that change, that make you want to know more, that, that give you that feeling of something different, to give you that trust in yourself that you can make decisions on your own by asking yourself certain questions. Now, a lot of the time when we're in a place we don't like or we're not living the life we want to live, it's because we're not doing stuff we, we, we want to do. Like we're working. We're working away. We're working for someone who's just paying a wage, yeah, it's safety and security, but we're not, we're not living that life. Well, we might do it every now and then. But that's probably why we're not fully happy. But when it comes to asking ourselves questions or making decisions to get us out of that, it's from a state that's usually a negative state. It's like, I'm not happy. Why me? Why am I stuck doing this? Why do I always end up not having to do this? Or I have to work overtime to pay for this? And all these questions, we're in that state where we're just unhappy. And it doesn't have to be like all in the doldrums and everything. And I'm not saying that everyone's unhappy. Don't get me wrong here. I cop a lot of stick about this, but... I'm just saying, you think about it for a second. If you're doing something now that doesn't really serve what you want later in life or it's not part of your big picture, are you, are you making decisions from a happy state, from an excited state about where you're at? No, you're not. And when you, when you go to make decisions from this state, you, you're usually not going to give it your all. You're really not going to go deep. You're going to say, yeah, I probably could do that. And you're going to listen to the fear. You're going to listen to the fear come up or whatever negative story that's going to stop you from doing it. So I think key is, and I've touched on a lot this week, a couple of the interactive posts, I had some great feedbacks from, from some very, very successful people. I'm not talking about successful just in money. I'm talking about successful in growing a team, having an amazing team, successful teachers, successful leaders. And the interaction was, and abundance come up a word, something I've been learning a lot about and never really understood. And Abundance is people put on things. See, we make decisions in life because we want things. But it's the feeling we have when we've got them things or that life that we're truly deeply searching for. A lot of us don't get that. Don't get that because we haven't had it. 
And like I say, the interaction with Post Shane Anderson, I'll give him a shout out because he's, he's all across this. The man is on an epic personal development journey. He's an ultimate leader. Um, and I love it too, man, because he's living that amazing life. But he, he hit it straight on the head. Abundance is, is something that flows through you. It's a state. Because something that I, I definitely, definitely tapped into in Peru and it gave me a greater understanding is like there is an abundance of everything already. Everything is here. We have all, everything. We have an abundance of everything already. But we just put such material, what would you say, material? No, we, we think it's things. We do. And when we get these things, we don't feel fulfilled. Because that abundance of money or whatever isn't truly what we're after. I'm not going to go too deep on that because what I want to give you is these questions to get you into that state. Into that state where you make decisions from a better place. Like I say, it's okay to want an abundance of things. That's okay. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. I want a shitload of money one day so I can help a lot of people. But I have an abundance of everything I need right now. There's an abundance of... There's an abundance of oxygen around us. There's an abundance of energy, nature. It's everywhere. We just don't realize it. They're the, they're the true things that make us feel good. Without air, we die. Think about that for a sec. To one thing that we go without for a few minutes and we're done. You go without money. And another great point I sent of Shane, is he's going to get mentioned here. It's like I've been just watching all this stuff because it's resonating with me so much. Now it's like, you can do without money. So why are you searching for an abundance of money? Why don't you tap into the abundance of oxygen, the abundance of everything you've already got, an abundance of love, which if you don't feel that at the moment, you've got to give it more. There's a tip for you. Just give it more, show it more, and it'll come back. Because you have an abundance to give. Just some points to think about there, guys. But powerful questions. What I want you to do is like write these down if you want. Like I say, I've got my notes in front. I'm like, some of the stuff I'm teaching tonight is like really, really cool. And I've just been like going deep on this today myself because how can I teach it if I'm not asking myself these questions regularly? A lot of the time, especially this year, I've had other people ask of me and I've gone like this because I'm not really going deep on it. That's the thing. I'll get to the comments soon too, guys, because I'm in the zone and I don't want to mess with the little bit of flow I've got going on. Um, and like I say, this is coming from my own work that I'm really going deep on at the moment. I'm doing a really cool mastermind at the moment, which I just started in today. It's crazy busy. And it's just like, flick these switches in me. I'm like, i just got to keep asking the right questions to make the right decisions from the right state. So how do you get yourself in that state of flow or that state where you're not unhappy or you're you're scared about what's going on. You listen to fear all the time. It's simple stuff. You, you take a look at your life and you're like, all right, if I'm not where I want to be now, what does my life look like if I've got everything that I want? Separate yourself from where you are now. That's a cool way to do it. Separate yourself from your position. Look in on it from the outside. Have a goal or whatever it is. If you haven't got goals, either guys or something you're working towards, go and do it now. Get off this live stream. Just that's it. That's all you need to do. Go and do it. There are so many ways and techniques and great people to teach you to do all this sort of stuff out there. Go do it now. Because you're just going to do this in life all the time. Like my goals when I was in the mines was like to go buy my own company and all that, but I kept myself on a wage. I kept blowing my money because they weren't really what I truly wanted. I didn't want an abundance of fucking machinery and stuff and bills and debts. That's what I was digging myself into. But here's the thing. Look at it from the outside and ask yourself, from the outside, you're separated from your own position. So, hence, you're away from the energy of it. Look back in and like, all right, as my higher self, if you will, where I've got everything that I want looking in, am I making the decisions now to get me to where, to this point? Ask yourself. Like, seriously, it might seem strange, but if you look from an outsider perspective, look, put it this way. As society, we're conditioned to look at other people and judge. We, we know better from how they can improve. Do it to yourself. Why not do that to yourself? And like I say, I'm just giving you some insight into if you're not willing to reach out, guys. I would say reach out. I would say, listen, go to people that have got what you want because they, they know how they did it. Not always they're going to be right, but they're going to share. If you're willing to do the work, they're going to share. But step away from your own situation. Be that person who judges yourself but for a positive outcome. It'll make a huge difference on how you make decisions. 
then if you can see, you can see little things. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm scared of this. Or I keep wasting my money on this every week. It might be a little bit, but it adds up. You're like, keep eating that, that bad food. My cheat meal. My comfort meal or food or whatever. When shit comes up, I'm like, oh, I've got to have this. Because you know what, guys? Health is number one. It's always your go-to. And that's usually where your comfort is too. Your comfort food and all that. Cam, awesome that you're on, brother. We've got to have a chat on a call soon too one day, man. Love it. Anyone who's on here too, there's some cool people on here. Check out Cam Stewart stuff. The man is all over this. He's got the results that show it too, which is super cool. I'll say hi to everyone who's getting on in a sec. But like I say, if you can separate yourself and then ask your questions out of that state, because for a lot of us, it's hard to get in that, that good, happy feeling state. It really is. A good way to do it is get excited about your goals or something. Write something in there. That's, that's super cool, but I'm talking about removing yourself from that. Because if you are in that state, sometimes you are so fucking caught up in shit that's going wrong, shit that's not working. Like I say, you're in that life that you don't want, and we, we're clouded from what we, we want to see or what we want to have. So separate yourself. Have a look at it. Like Write it down. Say, all right. Like Looking at myself, Steve, what's he doing here? There, there he's at. He's at point A, right down the bottom here. This is a good graphic. I wonder if you can get these things we can draw on the screen. Don't know. My phone's been playing up enough. But point A, I'm at point A, net B now. What can't Steve see looking in from me, looking in on Steve? What can't he see to get me to point B, my big goals? What am I missing? What is he missing? Then you're not in any state where you're negative and you're just looking in, making a, an observation. Say, all right, what has he got to do to get to there? And it's not about getting caught up in the how. It might be one little thing. It might be, hey, there's an opportunity there. Make a decision. Do it. Another cool thing to ask, too, is take away from everything. Another powerful question. Forget about whatever you're doing now. If it is a job, if it is things aren't working out, forget about it. It may seem hard, but forget about it. Ask yourself, all right, this is... Start again. What do I love doing? How can I be of contribution to other people? What What am I doing here now? What What steps can I t take to do this more? How can I allow myself to do this more? Don't worry about the money and everything. So people are caught up in like money and everything. Yes, it's fucking important. Makes the world go around, unfortunately, but it's how it is. So you've got to learn to utilize it. This is about you. Getting out of that state where you're in, where you haven't got what you want, or you mightn't be happy with it, or you're not fulfilled or anything yet. Just simple questions to ask yourself. And I'm gonna to get to the comments in a sec. Um, loving the interaction on here too. I didn't call for interaction and I was gonna go through it all, but this is this is stuff like I say, I've gotta do it myself as well. Because a lot of the time, I'm like, I don't want to reach out and I've got to go deep with my own personal work because then I can be really, really honest and truthful with myself. And that's what this is about, guys. If you really want to change what you're doing and you're not asking yourselves the right questions or any questions, what the fuck are you doing? Seriously. If you're not asking, what am I here for? That's a cool question. Guess what? That's the one question I asked myself with no personal development experience. I didn't even know what it was. That's the one, pers the one question I asked myself. What the fuck am I on this planet for? I'm not happy. I got money in the bank. I had fucking 30 grand in the bank. I had 25 grand in shares. I had a car. I had two boats. I had a property. I had all this shit. The question I asked myself to make the change was what the fuck am I here for? And then it was highlighted to me what I was good at. Other people were telling me what I was good at. So then I'm asking myself, all right, what am I good at that can, can be of service to others? And as soon as I found something, something, it started to make me feel good. I started asking more questions. Started getting some great guidance and mentoring. Well, what do they got that I don't have that I want? There's a question I ask myself. Well, I'll have a look at it. They're contributing a lot. They're happy. Wow, they've got a great family. They've got a pretty cool life. Not perfect, but they've got shit that I want. So the questions I was asking myself then evolved from one question. What the fuck am I here for? How can I be a service to other people? Then it unlocked. 
Well, you can look at this yourself, guys, and I, I touched on it earlier, and you don't have to have a tragic history or a dark past or anything like that. We've all lived a life. We've all lived, if you're on here, at least 18 years or more. There are many lessons you can share. If you want to be of service to other people, have a look at your past. If you're stuck there, do something about it. Ask some questions to get you the fuck away from there. Because most of you guys on here are already being of service to other people or you want to be of more service to other people. And this is the way you tap into it. You've got to ask powerful questions. I'm going to get to the feedback now. This is like super cool. It's actually gone a little bit sidetracked from where I was going to go. I've got notes and everything here. Give us some love or likes if you're liking this too, guys. Bad interaction. Haven't noticed lately social media is about being social. Let's get, let's get social. Superstars on here. If you haven't said hi yet, there's some names on here that are hiding. Say hi. Keep rocking them through. Thank you. I love this. It's awesome. Kieran, Rosie, Julie, Sonia, Beth. Aunt already said hi to you guys. Harmony. Dave in Melbourne. Loving it. Loving it. Amy Marie. Awesome. Joshy. Legend. When I talk about 18-year-olds, you're under 18. Awesome that you're on, brother. Hope you're loving babysitting my mum down there. Dave. Dino. Casey. Nah, awesome, Rosie. You got Rosie, you've got to do the same yourself. I see you're on a health journey. You've got to ask yourself these serious questions because you're going to get challenged, and I know you're going to get challenged. This is a question you've got to ask. Why? Why am I doing this? Am I doing this to inspire others? If you're doing anything in life and you're not inspired yourself and you want to help others, guess what? You've got to start inspiring yourself first. Another thing too. Jethro, Marty, awesome that you're on, brother. Our chats have fired me up lately, bro. Watch this space too, guys. You want to check out some cool shit? Check out Marty Cornish, especially the clothing, but more, more on a deeper level. The man has got a vision. The man has got purpose, and he has asked some serious questions, and he has put the answers to them questions into action, which is the next step. Cool shit. <laughs> Rosie, abundance means whatever it means to you. Abundance is what I just, I just mentioned a couple of simple things. It's a lot of a lot of things, a lot of something. If that's a really basic way to look at it, look at yourself in the mirror and believe that you can take, then you can achieve anything you want in life. Take huge action, and the results will come. Spot on, Cam. Love it, man. So much experience on it, Trent. Rocking it out, bro. Brendo, Louise. Awesome that it's speaking to you, Rosie. Natalie, Bianca. Ah, oh, this is cool. Marcus, got to drive home, place some advice on. <laughs> I'm here because you're speaking your truth. Absolutely, bro. It's what it's all about. Awesome, man. Love it. Love it. Marcus, digging holes as usual. Cheryl, Rowan, just tuned in. Keen to watch more. Awesome, man. Just tuned in, Rowan. Go back to the start, man. Feedback, Brendo, Eric. Ah, awesome. Awesome, new mates there. Rod, New York. Rocking it from New York. Wow, it's a good evening here. Jimmy Bardo. Ah, this is awesome. All right, now I'll send you shout-outs. Back to it. Powerful questions to ask yourself. What else is there? I just have to take a breather for a second. This is what happens when your focus shifts to you guys too. But like I say, a lot of us, we leave it till it's perceived as too late. And we do ask these questions. And we do say, all right, how can I be a service to others? But we're in that shitty state. And a lot of us do this. That's when you've got to reach out to someone. That's what I fully believe. That's what I don't. And that's why I say it. That's why I say it, is because at that stage then I'd ask some questions, but it was from a place where I was in a state and I was like emotional. I had all this shit locked in. I would literally drive away at work from a, a high pressure job looking after a crew where I'd fucking bawl my eyes out and be quiet. I was asking the questions from that state and that's when I just reached straight out. I spoke about it before, my questions evolved. They evolved because I was taking action on the answers I was getting myself. It's pretty cool when, when you can ask yourself a question. Like I say, how many of you on here highlight what you're good at? You ask yourself, what am I good at? And you highlight it. How many of you do that? And tell me, what are you good at? Glenn, how are you, legend? Cheers, brother. We've got to get on a call too. Rosie, let's jump on a call. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. There's ways you can unlock this. And the reason I'm asking this question now, haha, <laughs> this, is, this is me by myself. 
I'm just like rocking it here. Chi Chi's in there. She's very sick today. She's resting up. She's had a, a massive few weeks, which has been amazing. So she's resting up. It's all about energy. Oh, there's a trying word. Get rid of that. But tell me now. Seriously, good with dogs, Rosie. Cool. So dedicated to your growth. Thank you, Brenda. I always love your support and open and honesty, man. You're rocking it too, bro. Far out. I'm sick of seeing you bloody pictures with your shirt off. <laughs> Is that a question, Brenda? How many people are you getting guidance from and how important is it to be getting advice from multiple people? If that's a question, Brenda, I can answer that, yeah. Like, I'm working with Regan Hillier at the moment. I've got Michael Sloggett in my fucking corner all the time. Even though I might be getting the results he wants, he's there in my corner helping me with guidance because he's got a lot of what I want. Thank you, Trent. But there, I've got multiple people because there's multiple areas in life too, guys. But if you just want to change what you're doing now, it takes one question to make that change. Act on the answer you find within for that question, then another question will come. Then you can ask more questions. Then you can reach out for help. Or if you don't know what to ask, just reach out for help. But like I say, I've got multiple people in areas. If you've got your health you've got to work on, this is a good one for you, Brendo. Absolutely re reach out to Brendan DeSellis because he's just fucking trimmed up. I don't, man, like I say, no more fucking shirt off. Or I might just have to block you from my newsfeed. But so you got to do. If you want some of your health, reach out to someone like Brendo. You want someone like business, reach out to someone who's running a successful business. If you want someone who's riding the spirituality and you really want to get in touch with your inner world, reach out to someone who's in that field. Because you know what? And the reason I ask, what are you good at? If you can highlight what you're good at in that area, maybe you just focus on what you're good at and then you ask people that you're not good at them areas. Just say, hey, what do you do here? And you know what? If you go to a person who is successful in them areas, guess what? They're going to be more than willing to give you some advice. It, the advice might be, hey, do a program. The advice might be, go and talk to someone else. He's someone who's probably better to talk to. Because these people who have worked on themselves in certain areas or all areas, whatever it is, they're going to know exactly what they did. And they're going to be able to say straight away, in all honesty, from a grounded place where they just send it and say, hey, I can help you. I can't help you. I can give you guidance. This is what I done. It's, it's actually pretty simple when I go back to one of my first points. Separate yourself from your situation. Look in. What's going to get you from point A to point B? If you're on a health goal, all right, here. I'm fucking five kilos overweight and I want a six-pack. How the fuck do I get to B, which is a six-pack? What do I have to do? If I don't know the steps, who do I talk to? Boom. If I haven't got money, boom. Me, not so long ago. All right, I'm in a place now. I need to make this amount of money. What do I do? Fuck, this dude, I know this dude, he's always been there for me. I'm going to go talk to him. Oh, okay, do this, this, and this. And I've got to be honest, I haven't followed it. everything. Guess what? I'm not getting the results I want. And like I say, if it's your emotions you want to get in touch with, guys, and this is the shit that holds most of us back. This is the stuff we let get in the way, that we give power to. Our emotions, our anxieties, our depressions, when we're not happy, whatever it is, we give so much power to the negative ones. Got the, got the incense burning here. Straight in my face. And if it's emotions that you've got to work on, guys, guess what? Follow the people that, that resonate with you, that you get that feeling, that, that you watch them or you see them or you're around them, they're in your circle. And you get that, that first feeling doesn't have to be physical evidence or anything. You just get that that intuition, that feeling. That's the person you've got to talk to. That's the person you've got to you've got to follow or see what they've done. So many of us get past that first feeling. Go, oh no no, and we let fear come in, and we like lose away, and we lose track of our emotions, and we just worry about all the physical stuff. You've got to go back to that. It's super super important. Like myself, it's like a big part of my journey is getting more in touch with that. See, if I'm going to be of service to other people or contribute more on an emotional level, guess what? I've got to get more in touch with my own emotions, how to control them, how to deal with them. And I will say straight out, and that's something I'm really, really good at. But I never knew that because I didn't allow, I, I, sorry, I allowed all this other stuff to get in the way. I allowed my emotions to cloud that. So I could talk for hours about this, guys. Throw me some questions. I've had an absolute... Awesome interaction here with so many different people on. I hope you've gained massive, massive value from it. If you have, give me a like. Give me a like if you're still on there. Actually, the love button's way better. 
Love buttons way back. Give me if you got massive value from this. Throw me some questions. Hello, Belinda. I want help with direction, like purpose, because I have no idea. We've got something that we spoke about last week, uh, myself and my beautiful girlfriend, Tanya. Thank you for the love and everything. Um, on that, on direction, on purpose. What is your purpose? A lot of us don't know. It's literally what you're good at. How can you contribute to others? But there are ways to tap into this, guys. So simply, if you're not sure, ask. If there's something that I say that resonates, flick me an inbox. It's as simple as that. There's no judgment from my point. And like I say, I've learned from some great people that when I went to them, they're like either told me, well, they all tell me the truth, which is pretty cool. That's an amazing thing about environment. Not all of them have said, yeah, oh, I want you to work with me or anything like that. It doesn't work that way. It's like, hey, I can help you or I can't. I can give you some guidance, but here might be a better person. Here's a book to read. Here's an audio to listen to. There's so many different tools you can use out there, guys, but you've got to ask the questions. It all comes back. Powerful questions to ask yourself. Loving the feedback on this. Fiona, how are you? Oh, wow, I've got some cool people in here. <laughs> Bexter. I do, I do. Rosie, send me a message. And please check your messages, because we message a lot. Hey, Bexter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give everyone a tip here too. It's not a tip. Think about this. And I, I get it, because I talk to a lot of people, and I, I've done a lot of work myself, and I'm working with amazing people. Now... A lot of us think we're the only ones going through shit. <laughs> a lot of us think that we're the only ones that have had shit happen to us. So guess what we do? We put so much pressure on ourselves, we don't want to talk about it because we're afraid of judgment from everyone. Guess what? We've all got shit. We've all been through shit. Yeah, some of the, the events might have been different and all that sort of stuff, but guess what? We lose people. We fight with people. People fight with us. We judge people. People judge us. Shit fucking happens doesn't just happen to you. I loved it when Tony Robbins did that. He did a great example when we were down in Sydney the other week. And when the, ma the main man does it like that and you look at him, people in there, you ask the question like, all right, what's holding you back now? And then fucking 500 other people say the same thing. It's the same with you guys. It's exactly the same. So don't play the victim. That's what happens. Everyone else goes through shit. It's just that who's willing to work on it? Who's willing to ask the powerful questions? As soon as you do that and you act on it, that's when the results come. Awesome, Rosie. I look forward to your message. Anyone else? I've got a few messages come through. Like I say, just message me. If anything I've got to offer, tt has got to offer. Anyone that I know, absolutely. I know some amazing people like the Lynches in the, the health and fitness game are rocking out their thing. There's Brendo that's on here. There's some great people that are on here. Kieran that's on here, an amazing coach. There's some amazing people in here. Cam Stewart, holy shit. Talk about owning fucking half of New Zealand in the real estate game, plus more. All these people that are in this network just on here, where you are, you've just got to ask a question. Might be a question to me and bang, handball. Got to get out of our own way, people, and it only happens when you ask questions. I just feel I sometimes I don't post the shit days because the vibe will ripple effect. If you feel that that's going to happen, guess what, Bexter? Yeah. All the time. And that's I know that's to do with um, with our training. The task is set there to post. Whatever comes out, comes out is right. Oh, cheers, Kyle. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. And it comes to it, and Dave, Leon sent me a message too, is you're very similar, Kyle. You guys just apply the simple stuff that I talk about. It's not even really me teaching. It's just the simple stuff I'm sharing. So I appreciate it when I get... Messages like that, man, I really do. But I appreciate it more when I see you guys applying stuff. And it can be simple stuff. I know all of us are on here, myself included. We haven't got the results. We haven't got that. We aren't in that flow. We haven't got that abundance in our lives right now that we want because we're not tapping into it because it's already here. I don't know if I've got anything else to share now. I've got to save some for the training tonight. Like I say, thank you everyone for the interaction. I came on here with massive value to add. I've done a lot of deep stuff today and it's been fucking cool. As you can probably tell, my energy is cranking. Um, and it's because when I'm talking about this stuff, I'm passionate about it. And I'm passionate about how far I've come and I look back and highlighting what I'm good at. And it's not a bragging thing. It's just putting it out there because it's super, super important. I really urge you guys to do the same. And I really urge you to ask yourself some powerful questions right now. If you're not living the life you really want, that you feel you should be living, Stop right now, step away, 
ask some questions, say, all right, what the fuck do I need to do to get myself out of this, to get where I want to go? And if you can't do that, inbox me. How's that for a finish? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And see you guys in Harmonious Balance 8-week course very, very soon. As you can tell, it's going to be a fucking cracker.